361 Corpus Christi, Texas here. So we got the 11 meter CB antenna all set up and everything. So we're gonna be working on our UHF and VHF on our uh, Baofeng UB5R. So our indoor antenna on the Skywarn repeater or on the weather channels, it does not receive good whatsoever in my room. There's too much interference and it just does not pick it up. It's really scratchy. So right now here's the repeater. This is the Lunch Bunch Skywarn repeater. And as, as you can see, it's really scratchy and it's only picking up one or two bars. And as you can tell, It's, it only has two bars, maybe one bar, super scratchy. So, well, Norm, N5 OJ, Norm, are you here? turn that off and turn it down real quick. So what we did is we built our own VHF and UHF um, antenna. It's a shorty antenna, a little stubby antenna. It's our first uh, version of it. There's no revisions yet, but we're going to be. So this one is only made out of a pill bottle. So this is the first version of it, just a proof of concept. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch the antennas. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. And the antenna that I'm currently using right now because I'm going to work after this is I'm using my little stubby Abris. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the SMA female to female adapter. Again, let's try to do this one handed. All right, so we got that. And now the cable that we are using is a SMA to uh, male UHF. And now this cable goes outside to a 35 foot CB RX8 Max uh, cable that goes to my homemade UHF VHF antenna. So we're going to go and turn it on. It's going to be for the repeater. And if you notice, all the static is going to be pretty much gone and it's going to be full bars. Nice and clear reception. Operator here is Vince. 
So I was, hey, Vince, where's your where's your license attached to? Are you in Corpus or somewhere else around the area? I'm in Corpus Christi. Over. Okay, Vince, I've got you. I'll, I'll um, it's um. So as you can tell, there is very minimal static. It's a really good receive signal, and we're on full bars. So now I'm gonna show you the antenna that I actually made to receive this, but let's listen to that really good signal again. Could just be a surprise for you, over. Okay, that'll work, I appreciate it. Well, you got anything? You know, this is, you know, it's just the, um, uh, some of some of the long timers here with this group has been meeting on one repeater or another for for many decades. Um, a few have gone silent key, and we miss them a lot. But uh, um, uh, it's, it's, some have called it the information channel. Some have called it the the, the, the geriatric net. Some have... All right, now that we are outside. This is the cable for the 11 meter CB antenna. This one here is for the UHF and VHF antenna. It comes around and ends with a male UHF and, um, connector, and then it goes to a 35 foot um, RG8X cable. And then this cable runs along the ground, around the post, and it comes over here to the new stubby I made last night. So it goes here on the fence. This is the new antenna I made and it's on the ground mount that I have just like on the 11 meter setup because I used to have these as the co-face. So this mount is was on the co-face so I reused it and this is the new UHF VHF stubby antenna. It is the first prototype right now, so it is in a pill bottle form, but it will not be in a pill bottle form in the final version. So this is what I got, and as you can tell in the previous video and in the beginning of this video, the reception of this is just amazing. It's full bars, there's no static or anything. I have not tested simplex on it or anything because I don't have anybody that actually have a VHF and UHF radio and an antenna outside that wants to test range or anything like that. I would love to test range, but don't have it right now. But I will be trying to figure out how I can test out range on my own. And I'll be testing out SWR soon as well. And then three days now, this antenna has been doing really good. Guys, the quick disconnect mount and the two radials and it's still getting a 1.05 to 1.1 on the SWR, and she's doing amazing. And I take down the antenna and the cape, just, just the cable. I leave the mount and the ground radio up every single night. And then this antenna I don't have to take down because it's nice and small, but I will be taking down the cable every single night. And I can hook up this cable every single time and I get it at 1.05 every time. So that's the setup now I have for the like the little an antenna corner. I got the 11 meter and then I got the UHF VHF receive antenna now. So like, comment, and subscribe.